So, Internet, you came to find out what happens when you give Navarb a little free time on a computer? Well, guess what you get? Random numbers. Look at that over there. Completely random numbers happening 20 times a second. Have you ever seen random numbers that fast? I don't think so. Let's get rid of your average dispenser, thingamadig, or whatever it is. I, I don't know. This is the new big thing. This is where it's at. Completely, completely random numbers 20 times a second. Get on my level. All right, folks, before I show you a practical application of these random numbers in this mini game I'm building, which you can see has been thrown apart as I'm working on another feature, I'll probably record that right now too and upload it whenever I have time. But I'll show you how this actual random dice works. This is not the one I showed in my previous Monopoly video. I completely redid it. This was done today. And as you know, today is like three months from then. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I sort of haven't had internet about 90% of that time. And I had a job the other 10%. So, yeah. And there was that 1% building that feature over there. But I finally got to this. So, yeah. And I hope my voice sounds better right now. I'm trying to throw in, like, a new a new voice here. The new voice of Navarb. How do you like it? You like? I, th I think you guys will like it. So, anyway, back to this. Back to what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Over here, we've got this nice little setup given to me by Trasland. Traslander? I, I don't know what he goes by now. It's, it's confusing. But basically, it has this nice little spawner over here that's set up by this little mechanism. And none of that's important right now. Just this spawner right here. This spawner is spawning a sand block in one of these six locations 20 times a second. Over here, we have six command blocks that are just set to kill everything within one radius that is a falling sand block, which comes to the sand block right next to it. Underneath, we have it set a block up here to a redstone block. This is for a device up here. Uh, it's unnecessary to our purposes right now, so don't worry about that. It's not in the actual contraption, nor is most of this stuff over here. This is me going to expand it. I'll show you its use here in a minute if I need to actually use it. I was using it before, but it no longer seems useful. Back here, back here we have execute commands. They check for someone with a specific scoreboard objective. Interestingly enough, they're all different objectives. I will explain why momentarily, but you can see it's just a basic tell raw at all command to give a random number. Now on to why I have a bunch of objectives. I bet you're all wondering that. So the way I got this to work is by using the stats command. Guess what? I'm using it too! Yay! I haven't had much time to play around with it, but, you know, it's amazing. Really, really amazing. And, um, yeah. So what I did is I did, um, slash stats, uh, block, uh, tilde? Is that called tilde? Tilde, negative one, tilde, set, uh, you can see how fast that's going. Affected entities, um, and then here's the interesting part. So I have six objectives. I couldn't really store it all in one objective because... I need some way to output a number, and they were all just outputting one. So it's not like I could just have everything set it to one, then I only have one random number. And if you're working with binary, that's great, but I'm working in decimal, like the rest of the known world. So that didn't work. So I just set up a bunch of objectives like this. Die one, roll one. Uh, pretty simple, except I think I have to actually say who it is here first. Uh, yeah, selector at p, uh, die one, roll one, and I just create six of those objectives, and then I just check for someone who has a minimum score of one in each one of those objectives. That's basically the alternative way to setting it to one, two, three, four, five, six, but I can't really do that with a um, command that's just checking for it using stats, as far as I know, all in one tick, and I want this to be 20 times a second, the fastest it can possibly get. So what are some cool uses for this other than the awesome matrix effect I have going on? I mean, look at that effect. It's the freaking matrix, guys. The matrix. So, um, 
Yeah. Maybe I should go into detail on what all this is. This is the previous iteration of it. It has all these dice. I cloned them up there. You've seen that in my previous video if you've been paying attention to me and not living under a rock. This is the previous device I used. It works, but it sucks. It goes at like once every two seconds. Well, this does 40 numbers in that time. So, faster. Slower. Awesome. Crappy. So that about sums it up for how the device works. Uh, now into the practical applications part of this episode. Alrighty, welcome back guys. So, it may not have been a long time for you, but it's been two weeks for me. I've spent every living moment I've had working on this contraption, um, trying to get it fixed. Because, you see, I've had this little bit of an issue. So, the dice, I hooked him up to this timer, and, you know, I, I had it working. You saw, I had the dice randomly running through 20 times a second. Well, it turns out the clone command didn't like me. So I worked on it, and I worked on it, and I worked on it. I probably spent about 10 hours trying to bug fix it, and I ended up with nada. Then about five minutes ago, I had a brilliant idea, and I removed the border around the outside to see what would happen, and it became instantly lagless. And I pondered, what could be the issue? Then I realized, it probably has to do with light levels. It's probably updating the light map on this entire thing, and chunk updates, and all that crap. So I thought, how can I fix this? So I did it the easy way. I threw a bunch of stone. Yup. That was my solution. I'm not joking. But it works. It literally works. After 10 hours of trying redstone trickery to get this to work and maximizing it, turns out all I had to do was place a bunch of stone. So here I go. I can just show you guys. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is the start button. And there we go. How awesome is that? We have randomly flickering numbers. Guys, this has never before been done. This is 20 times a second. Look at that. You can see the bar over there. That thing is just running. And if I stop it here, this is the stop button. You'll see it ends with a 3 and a 4, and you see it over in the bar to the right as well. So it's perfectly synced up. It'll do that 100% of the time. I haven't found one bug in it. I can try it really quick here, maybe that will cause an issue. Nope, as you can see it works fine. So this should be 100% guys. And you don't get that kind of speed with dispensers. This is the fastest, fastest random numbers I've ever seen in Minecraft. This is groundbreaking. This allows us to do so many cool new things a lot faster. And not just this animation, this is just breaking the ice. I mean, it took me so long to make this because I'm doing this for a map. And I wanted to have a cool animation. But from what I already showed you, you could do a thousand things. There are so many things you could tie up to this. This is, had to be a whole video on its own. I was going to do one where I show a progress update, which I need to show. You can see this place is torn apart. But this was most important. I seriously hope this gets some views, guys. Not only because I want to be more well-known, because the community needs to know about this. This is amazing. I first got this idea from Dragnoz a little while ago. I was watching one of his videos about... Uh, the quarry, I think it was, and he said that random numbers couldn't get any faster because they had used dispensers. Well, take this, Dragnaz. Take this. I just one-upped everything you did. So, yeah. So if you guys want to share it with him, share it with your friends, share it with your roommate, share it with your mom in the other room, go ahead and do so. Because, guys, this needs to get out to the world. We need to know about this, and this needs to become a thing. So... Thank you guys for watching. As I said, please like, subscribe, and do all that fancy stuff down below, and I am out. Huh. Well, I realized I forgot to ever show you how it actually worked, but it clones it here. It's the exact same thing. It's one more command block. That's it. So, sorry if you want to see it, and... Goodbye, again.